Tonight, fans will take to the stands in several districts for Friday night football, going against the state-issued guidelines for crowd sizes. Lindsay Ward is live with why one superintendent says they're good to open up their stadium. Lindsay? Heather, this morning, some families in the Butler Area School District are looking forward to seeing their football team play tonight. Now, this change was made in response to a judge's ruling within the state saying that that pandemic policy was unconstitutional. Superintendent Brian White says that they're opening their stadium up to more than 250 people for their first home game. In fact, they're anticipating around 750 people to show up, but that really is just a fraction of what their stadium can really hold, which is around 6800. The superintendent says the band will be spread out on the visitors side. Now they're not charging for tickets, but they are asking parents to answer questions on the wellness form about COVID-19 on their website before heading to the game. Each participant gets two tickets for family members. All of this, though, could change if new guidance is released by the Department of Education. And Butler area is not alone in taking advantage of this judge's ruling. The Carnes City Area School District recently announced spectators are now permitted at their sporting events effective immediately. They require fans to wear masks, social distance and practice CDC guidelines. Meanwhile, the Wolf administration has said they are quote disappointed in the judge's ruling and have filed an appeal. Reporting live, Lindsay Ward, KDK News.